Right, so we're back in the Cheviot Hills. Um, it's quite funny this, I've just stumbled upon this little spot. Um, I don't know if you can see between that tree and that tree. A perfect little clearing um, for either hammock or a ground set up on the other side there. Um, but it's funny, I've only just parked um, up that hill over there. It's about what? quarter of a mile, half a mile um, and spotted a public footpath uh, sign off the main the main track came into here and and this is right on right on the road more or less um, you've got your water source um, and obviously a, a cool spot so that's today's um, sort of plan really um, this is the Heart Hope Valley uh, and we're going to see if we can find some little spots for uh, hopefully an overnighter in September um, so I'll bring you back So I think that's another potential over the other side of the water there. Um, obviously I'm going to hunt out two or three different spots, um, preferably beside water. Uh, I'm trying to get out of the habit of carrying, well really anything more than a litre of water um, at any one time. Purely it's down to weight again lads. I'm. Uh, I've cut enough weight out of my pack now um, to be more than comfortable. Um, bearing in mind, you know, September time we'll be going into sort of autumnish, um, so it'll be a three-season sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of little pockets of woodland that either hang a, hang a hammock or. Um, set up on the ground. That in the distance, I do believe, um, is Hedgehawk. That's the hill I did um, last week when it was absolutely howling. Um, I nearly came off the top of there two or three times the wind was that strong. And I'm assuming as we go around the track there to the right, the Shavia will be up on the right hand side. One thing I have noticed about the Sheviots, all the signs are intact, they're all very accurate as sort of mileage and direction. Um, all the styles, you know, all the gates, everything's in complete work and order. Um, you know, sometimes you go to different national parks, you know, the Lake District's terrible for it. Um, and weird deal's not much better. But that's one thing I've noticed about coming to the Sheviots. Um, is, like I say, the signs and stuff are all, you know, well kept. So we're really, uh, really starting to open up now. Um, I think possibly just round this bend. Be a, quite a decent view. So that's the direction we've come from, it's probably maybe two and a half, three mile um, and we're still heading, we're still heading further in. Um, that's Hedgehope up on the top there uh, and I'm hoping when we get around this bend 
Um, there is some nice little woods up there. What I have found, well, potentially, you know, a good dozen spots um, on the way up. But I want to see what's further on. Answers on a postcard for that one, guys. I'm gonna clue. I think that up there's Long Crags. Um, I think you've got Langley Crags there, and that one's Long Crags. I think. Um, correct us if I'm wrong. But there's a little footbridge down there. Uh, obviously, you can see the track going up the side there. So I'm gonna go down here because there's some um, some trees down there. So I'm gonna go and have a look. So that in the distance is um, the mighty Sheviot. That's the that's the big guy on the block. That's the highest peak in the Sheviots. Um, it's 800 and odd feet, I believe. I'm going to save that one for another day guys. This is how um, <laughs> this is how sad I am. I've come all the way along here in uh, all this beautiful scenery and countryside and I'm <laughs> this this cottage has just been painted and I'm admiring how good the paint job is and you know you've got that to look at. <laughs> But yeah, guys, can you imagine living there? I don't know if it's a, um, I don't know if this is a holiday let or um, the road isn't the best here, so you'd need a you need a four before. But can you imagine coming here every weekend, looking at this? Yeah, so I just thought I'd throw that curveball in, guys. It's a lovely, um, it's a lovely paint job that. <laughs> so. This is how mad Mother Nature is. Um, this is just a puddle, literally, you know, in the middle of a track. But all that black stuff there, I don't know if you can see them, but there's millions of tadpoles. Absolutely millions of them. And they're all stuck in this great big puddle. Bizarre. Right. I've, uh, well, I've gotten as far as really I want to get today. Um, it's one o'clock now. It took us a good two hours just to get to this spot. Um, I've just set up a. I've just set a basher up there just to keep the wind off my back while I make some food. Um, but this is a this is an amazing spot. Looking looking all the way back down. Um, Heart Hope Valley, um, possibly a potential camping spot in itself. Um, right, I'll bring you back. Right, I've packed up. Uh, the sky's changing. Um, it's slowly, slowly getting darker from that's west over there, or west-ish. Um, the wind's picked up, 
and like I say it's starting to cloud over Ch chances are I think we're going to get some rain it did say it would rain by 3 o'clock and it's um, 20 to 2 so thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, thumbs up thumbs down whichever you please um, and subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber thanks for watching bye for now